my name is Mehul and welcome to another Ionic tutorial in which we'll be finally finishing off with our application the social login one by implementing it on a real device and probably in the next one we'll be just seeing how to create a signed APK to actually distribute it on the Play Store so finally the app would look something like this we would be implementing in-app browser within our application which is when you click on that an in-app browser would be opened and something like this would happen so all the redirection would take place inside the application itself and pretty much the user's information would be returned within the same app so let's just get started alright to do that open up your project again and just follow these things right so first of all add this got over plugin which is browser tab and by the way you would be able to find all of these all of this code in the description on the form so make sure to check that out if you want to get a little speed up in your process first of all add this browser tab plugin then add this in-app browser type plugin and again all of this is already in the description for you to copy and paste from the form so make sure to check that out then you have the universal links plugin and by the way what we are actually doing right here and the reason why this works is because now we are telling firebase to use an actual https url as a base url instead of making use of file protocol and uh, we'll just take a look at that how we can do that now once you have installed this one install the plugin build in for one plugin and once you do all of that just go to your firebase project and what you want to do is go to this dynamic links here now if this is your first time visiting this dynamic links on this project then you would not see something like this you would see a button here get started and once you click on that what you would get is something like um, something like this once you click on that you would get an interface like this right so if you select Android so what you want to do here is write your Android app name for my case this was com.codam.test demo app right and just your Android name app um, just register your application click on next next and you are pretty much done now again you have to do that from here not from the add app section now once you do that you would be presented with a URL something like this just copy this URL and go back to your project right here now in your project open your config.xml file just go to the bottom and you should be able to see something like this so just paste this thing again this thing is available now you would not see this you have to do this yourself this thing is again available on the form so make sure to check that out if you want to then paste the host without HTTPS and all those slashes and here goes the um, auth domain now how to find this one well you already have that so go to your app folder and inside your app module now copy and paste this thing this is your auth domain right so just copy this and paste this inside right here and uh, keep everything else same and you are pretty much done one final thing you need to do is go to your home.ts file where we had implemented all this nice and easy stuff and right here instead of doing sign in with pop-up which we were doing previously do a sign in with redirect now once this happens what happens is that uh, you are not anymore using pop-up for authentication but sign-in with redirect works with file protocol so it redirects to your sign-in provider then firebase takes in control with the dynamic link and all that good stuff happens and then dynamic link sends you back to your application and you get the result again because redirect does not really provide you any information we do not get pretty much we do not need to have any sort of result here but once the re redirect is complete that means the oath is done so you need to get the redirect result and then we have the response code which pretty much contains everything just like it did for the sign in with provider and rest of the code is pretty much same right and yeah that's pretty much it 
so once you are done with that what you want to do is uh, run your application so just go to here and hit ionic auto or run android and wait for your application to build now once it's built you should see something like this now you can pretty much try with any provider for example if you go with google you would see that uh, it opens an in-app browser instead of asking for a browser like Chrome or default browser which was terribly wrong so again this one looks quite uh, appealing than the previous one and you can see that Firebase is taking control of all the authentication and since I had already authenticated my Google account for this app so I do not need to do it again so Firebase is just getting some tokens from Google server and we should probably be back to our app really soon and you can see that we get our result back and uh, now we have access to the user's information so that's how pretty much you would implement a very basic social login application with an Ionic and Angular and Firebase so again that's all for this one and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next one.